Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more with the walls and the boundaries. Um, then last time it was just a, it was more of a simple on, squares only version, and this time we're going to get more intense and get into some actual <laughs> um, rectangles and free form shapes. So basically you can take whatever you want as your original if you already made the squares that's a great starting point because you don't have to change too much so you can um, resize the canvas um, and then you can pick whatever size whatever size you want you can double it or just double the length or the width I should say as I'm going to right here the horizontal length and there you go and then you can resize the um, Actually, let's zoom out for a second. You can uh, resize the um, other space, the extra leftover stuff, so that you can just have the rectangle. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There you go. Do that again. Resize the canvas. And there you go. So now, already, you've gone from the square to a different shape and it looks exactly the same color wise and you can also do this make this smaller and now it's a short one so this could be used as a small wall or it could be used for a door if it's something you want to go into you can make that one of the ones that flips open so let's make this an object real quick. I just call it short wall. You can call it small wall. If it is a door, obviously call it door. And there you go. So now there is snap on, but let me show you. Oh, not that one. Short wall. So it still fits the same way across as any other block, but now you have it where it's half of the block. That way even though it's smaller it's still the same size so that it won't mess up any of your um, symmetry that you have so that's a simple one that's the rectangle like I said it was going to do um, not very hard to do especially if you already have the square let's just put two of these down um, probably block this off and uh, say right here and um, oh real quick another good thing to do might be to center it um, sometimes with a top-down shooter something with something with the character could go through it if it's not centered only simply because if the boundary lines are a little bit off then it'll go through it and then it'll get stuck somewhere else so it might be a good idea to center it but you don't technically have to especially if your character is symmetrical, but I'll show you an example. So, how my character has this hood right here. That hood could get stuck in the block if it's not centered. Um, but at the same time, because you're spinning around from above, so you could just go into it at any point. But at the same time, if it is centered, then it won't, it, it could still get stuck without the wall, without the mask that I'll show you in a second. So something to keep in mind but I'll show you how to fix that anyway so let's say you don't want to do a normal shape like that let's say you're doing something like a cave or a cavern kind of level um, and you want to do a freeform shape basically start with the same thing and, um, and then we can just recreate it from there and I'll show you how to do the mask so you can have any shape you want and any size you want obviously just mess with it and um, this is a good way to do vines too for jungles it's a fantastic way to do vines that's what I did with my last one um, so let's let's just talk about the uh, the free form then the free form will be the hardest one and the one that you will get stuck the most on so when you do this you have to be extremely careful because if you resize it after you do it it's going to leave a little black outline on your last one that you had except it'll be smeared so that that will actually still count in the block and you'll get stuck on that every time if you don't take that out 
so if you can resize it first but it's not necessary just make sure you erase that so let's say we start with this you can just copy them all and change the colors later so let's make this let's say it's something like a cave and we want a rocky kind of surface so erase everything that you don't want in your object in your wall whatever you want to call this your boundary line there you go and um, sometimes it's better to leave the black out uh, I think I'm going to put the black back in for this one just because I personally like that more in this instance but you can do either um, depending on how high up it is it could look different and you may prefer one to the other but I'll keep that stuff there so there you go so let's just pretend that was a part of a rocky substance the hole's not too big but you can edit it anyway it's gonna have the same effect as long as you do what I show you here so have this ready this is your sprite obviously um, let me edit this real quick okay so you can keep the colors the same like that and it, it will still look good it will still look professional even though it's not the square with the reflection so here's one thing you could do and that I recommend um, actually this is a little bit too big I don't want this here so take that away but um, these boxes if you if you click to see where your masking zone is you can click automatic um, or autofill or whatever it's called over there <laughs> and um, you can click the manual or the whole object um, all of them will work depending on what you want obviously if you have it filled up like the square you want the full object if you have it like this you can do auto and it'll normally work but you might have to do manual so that's step one decide what you want with that and then call it whatever you want to so duplicate so now you're going to want to make your mask your mask is what will stop you from getting stuck so make whatever you want and then duplicate that object and call it the mask of this object and then you will just you don't have to do this you could keep it the same color but I always make it a solid color so I can distinguish you won't see this in the game this is just what it's going. the outline is going off of now it's the same size which you can do but once you make it an object I'll show you why I usually make it slightly smaller alright so make your curvy wall object or whatever you called it and then go select the sprite and then select your mask as the mask that you created again it doesn't have to be a different color but it just makes it easier to see okay so personally I like to make the mask smaller although I've been told that you don't have to but every time I make it the same he still gets stuck again probably because of the hood it's an imperfection in, in the symmetry and um, well, actually no it it should still work but uh, usually some some small things like that affect it it would probably still work but I could I would bet that you would get stuck every so often with it so here's the black outline that's smeared like I was talking about because I didn't change it before and that was my fault because I forgot to uh, make it smaller but if you make it I uh, see I just made it 97 and it's smaller or maybe it was 98 something like that and it, it doesn't really change the effect like you won't get stuck you won't be able to walk through it or something but that little curve that's in it it will no longer get you stuck you will no longer go inside of it because the mask is there and it'll prevent you so you can actually move into that small hole that's there and it won't affect your it, it won't stop your character movement let's actually set the snap down to one so I can show you what I'm talking about so here we go we got a free form now again this isn't very curvy like you would want for some mountain stages or even some cave stages but uh it's a good ex it's a good first example just to show you what I'm talking about so I will show you next time actually what it does and you'll see um, what I'm talking about with the going in and everything and I will also show you some code next time for it because you need to make sure that if you do go into it you don't get stuck and you can walk out but um 
that should be good. That's what I did for the last one. That's it. And that solves the entire getting stuck problem. Um, if you do get stuck, then I would advise looking at your character in case there's anything that pops out. Like I said, again, with the hood, it's a little bit out of the way because since your character can turn the 360 degrees, if you're facing it and that pops out the back, he will do a full rotation without being pushed aside and he'll get stuck into it. So it makes it a little bit harder, but that's why I advise making the mask even for the squares so that big enough so that the hood or whatever object you have, even if it's just the gun, if you're facing around and then you turn, you don't want the gun being stuck in the wall. So I advise making at least a mask for everything, even if it's just the square, so that it doesn't get stuck in the object, but you don't have to. There's a way to make it push you away, but it's a lot more complicated. It also looks better. I'll show you how to do that too. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the background as well next episode, and then I'll show you some of the actual gameplay. But let's do one final thing before we go here. So I'll show you how simple it is to adjust it to change the color of it and keep the same thing. So just duplicate it, move it down to where you want, call it whatever you want. And then look, instead of trying to get the same color, you can just come out of this real quick pull up your last object that looked like that and you can actually take the color and put it on your um, your palette right there and it's really simple just fill it in and in a second this is gonna look exactly like that bigger block so that's how you can make a whole bunch of different blocks for the same stage but a whole bunch of different colors or different stages with a whole bunch of the same colors whatever you want to do now this gets stuck but that's a really easy fix. Let's go over this really quick. And um, these actually shouldn't be brown, but that's because of I made it smaller. So I'll make that black real quick. And then you're done. It looked exactly like the bigger one, except obviously smaller size. And well, that was everything I wanted to say. So, I hope that helped you. Next time we will get into the the uh, the pushback once you touch an object so that you can't get stuck in it. I'll also show you the code so that you can't that helps you not get stuck in it. I can't say you will never get stuck because no matter what you do, there's always some sort of thing that could go wrong. And I will also show you how to create an actual background image. Um, quite like the one that you saw but that I was just using as a test so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one goodbye